Hi, I'm Kevin Holm Hudson, Associate Professor of Music Theory at the University of Kentucky and author of the book Music Theory Remixed, published by Oxford University Press. In this particular video, we're going to address the topic of motivic parallelism. Motivic parallelism involves how a motive that can be found at the surface level of a piece of music may also be manifested at a deeper level of musical structure as an interval that forms key relationships in a piece, for example. And the example we're going to look at today involves Queen's well-known anthem, We Are the Champions, which uh, begins with a an, a, a motive that is initially unaccompanied, but it's a three-note motive. goes by very quickly here. I've paid my dues. All right, so we've got this three-note figure, which we can see here in C minor, involves scale degrees five, seven, natural seven, and one. in C minor. That verse begins with that, that motive heard four times, uh, sometimes elaborated, but four times in the first part of the verse. Then there's a key change. The music moves to E flat major, which is the relative major of C minor. And bad mistakes. So we've got scale degrees five, seven, and one in E flat major. So if we started out in C minor, we move to E flat major. Different key, but the same scale degrees are involved, just transposed into E flat major. And then, of course, there's the big buildup with the guitar, the drums, the operatic backing vocals, and then we get to the triumphant chorus. And that starts with an elaborated reversal of our motive. So now we're in F major. And we start with scale degrees 1, going to 7, going to 5. We can almost mark this as an ornamenting tone, like a neighbor tone. So recapping, we had C minor, 5, 7, 1. We move to E flat major, 5, 7, 1. And then we move to F major, Reversed, one, seven, five. So clearly this three note motive is very important to the song. And so now we can take a step back and look at the key structure of We Are the Champions. We start in C minor. We then go to E flat major. And then we finish in F major. So taking those three keys, C minor, E flat major, F major, we get C, E flat, F. The three key areas give us in F the same scale degrees that we started with in C minor. But this time, it's blown up and put into the middle ground or background of the song as three distinct key areas rather than just the opening three notes. It gets more interesting as we get to the end of the song. Okay, so at this point, finishing up the song in F, we still have 
a version of that motive. Right? The same general contour rearranged. And then throwing in the flat turns it into kind of a playground taunt. And the last three notes of the song, the E flat, C, F, give us the three key areas that we had at the beginning telescoped into the very end of the song. I'm Kevin Holm Hudson, and this is Music Theory Remixed.